everyone. So we are up a different mountain with a bunch of dogs. We got Finnick up front, and we got Jazz, and we got Raider, we got Jude, and now they're bringing up to the rear. Um, I came up here yesterday with a different group, and um, it was nice, and there was loads of tracks, and I just felt like it needed a bit more exploring um, than what I did yesterday. Like, I've been up here before yesterday, I'd only been up here once before, and I did, like, a different track on the way back yesterday, and the dogs absolutely loved that, because there's loads of water and loads of, like, trees and forestry ground for them to run. Um, but yeah, because I'm a little bit oi, unfamiliar, I'm just being careful at how many are off lead at one time. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there is loads of shade. It is warm. There's no getting away from that. But as you'll see, when we get a bit further along the track, there's lots of ditches um, and little ponds along just this main track so the dogs can pop in there and cool down and have a drink. I think I'm going to be uh, pushing the pace if she keeps pulling me like this. So I've really quickly come off the track into forestry ground. And as you guys, if anybody's walked in a forestry before, you'll know how cool it is. As in the temperature. Like... Even on a real hot day, got all this shade. I don't know where we're going, but that is kind of the point of today: is to have a wander. Jude is going mad. Look, <laughs> you're doing zoomies, Judy. Hey yo, wee. And also like being unfamiliar with where we are. I don't know how busy it could be. Like, there was no cars in the car park, but there were, I think there are other car parks along the track, you know, around the outside of the woods. What are you doing? You're gonna jump, whee! Oh, oh, what's Judith doing? Where you going, Jude? You pooped already. Yeah, you're having a poop. <laughs> oh, crap. Why do I have to film when I'm somewhere like this? Oh. laying down already. I didn't realise you were that hot. You fool. You did that on yesterday's walk up the forestry near the house and um, it happened to be with um, we caught up with some other people with dogs. He was a cockapoo and a spaniel. I didn't know them. But anyway, he lay down in a puddle up there and they were laughing at him. I'm like, mm, this is cynic. This is just what happens. You do it down there, Jude. Oh my god. You're all on one. <laughs> They're all mad. Ready? Hop. Whee. Good girl, Jude. Oh, I caught on. Yes, I got lots of safeties, gently. I'm sure I dropped one. Yeah, Jude's sure I dropped one too. Find her, because I definitely did drop one. And it's funny, like, you don't often see Jude on walking videos. <laughs> and it's usually because I take her when I'm going out with smaller groups because she's the watchdog of the pack. If she reacts, like if she barks or something, she tends to wind everybody up, Jude. 
Don't you? Because you're naughty. Yes. Yes. So like, yeah, because she's the watchdog, if she makes a noise, they all take her very seriously as the watchdog. Right, I feel like the woods is thinning out here. I don't even think this is like a real track. I just think oh, it's just not very thick wood. I think. But I want to head, I think, this way. But yeah, I'm thinking if I learn some routes around here, it wouldn't be a bad place for a half way and a walk. Like there's a car park. Um, it's not difficult to find. Um, oh, somebody's built a shelter. Good guys. So yeah. Kind of a bit of a background plan, hence the come in exploring today. Plus, knowing there's water and knowing there's quick access to shelter, um, not shelter, shade. Finnick lay down again. Can we walk along this bit of water? Right, I'm going to stop filming for a sec so I don't use up all my memory on just this one section. So there was a lovely wall in the trees. So i um, got some pictures of the dogs on and um, next to the wall. As you can see, even more puddles. Um, but yeah, now we're out in the open a little bit again. Um, because we are, and it's a twisty track. I just put Jude back on lead. Um, she just keeps everyone a bit closer. And like I said, if she happens to bark, everyone stands to attention. <laughs> She's the only one really with that ability. Um, and then with some of the others, like the response is less, um, I don't know how to say it, but like if, if Raven barks, um, a lot of the time, the others will ignore her. Um, and like, if Dudley and Phoebe bark, the others tend to ignore. Um, Cause apparently they don't always make any sense or they don't bark appropriately. Whereas the watchdog is always taken seriously. Apparently we're going this way. I completely lost my um, sense of direction like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so I don't really know where I am or what direction I'm heading in. I feel like this way is back to the car. But I don't know how far away from the car I am. And I don't know if I'm right. I probably should have done a what three words where my car is. Probably would have been sensible or dropped a pin or something, you know. I know sensible. So we are heading into the forestry again and uphill again, which I believe takes me like higher than where the car is. But the car is definitely to the right and down. So we're gonna kind of sort of head in that direction a bit. Um, but if it's like this, it's lovely. Joe, are you going to have a drink? Because I want to go over there, see? So you can have a drink here, and then we go over. Had a chance. But honestly, this is a lovely walk and there are just so many tracks and so many paths you can take. And I've seen, this is the second time I've walked here in two days. I've been here a good two hours each time. 
I've seen one lot of motorbike riders yesterday, one jogger yesterday, one push biker yesterday, and then one family walking without a dog. And then today I've seen two people with one dog, you know, it's all together. So if you think of four hours of being here, I've only come across one other person with a dog. Now the size of the forestry, there could be a lot of people with dogs here, but because of the size and the amount of different tracks you can go on, you know, there's a fair chance you're just not going to come across them, which to be honest is quite nice. You know, it's been out on your own with your dogs, not having to worry about other people's dogs and how they behave and, and all that sort of stuff. You just walk and enjoy. So anyway, I am going to leave this here because I still want some memories of, for some pictures. So anyway, hope you enjoyed exploring somewhere new with the spotties and hopefully I can film a fair few videos up here and try and do a different track each time. Right, so I'm gonna stop filming because I need to navigate this without falling on my butt. So see you all soon. Bye.